Shalom, and the sort of souls by giving no praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Kodash. The Babylonians, the Apostle, Great Most, and an honesty, brothers doing the work, the most on truth, and then sincerity. Yahweh's real name of whom the Lord ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and his son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, we pray Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Birmingham, in, Herman, um, then Shem, meaning names, Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai. Real quick. Um, yeah, this is on, on a lack of accountability, you know, because you get, you know, certain these Edomites, I think. <clears throat> that they shouldn't, you know, pay for their past actions, right? That everything is just water under the bridge, right? Storm in a teacup. I well, wasn't that big a deal, right? But hey, what does the scripture say? We've got to load it up, right? That, um, you know, the Lord requires that which is past, right? And basically, when uh, uh, I was putting together the lesson, right, the Spirit made me think uh, of, of this term lack of accountability. Right, and then the fact that actually this is the system and the kingdom that Esau has created, where no one is, uh, no one holds themselves accountable for anything. Okay, so we'll grab this. We'll grab uh, Sirach ten. We'll go into a few precepts and see where the spirit leads. Right. So, it's what is account? What is lack of accountability? Right. So it's a lack of accountability at work. Right. Because this is the only real definition I could get, which was actually saying something. Right, it's a lack of accountability at work is when someone does not take ownership of an unproductive situation that results from their own actions and subsequent choices, which and that's the point. Right, if you remove the whole thing about work, right? Lack of accountability is doing something and then not wanting to, to, to own the, 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 the results of that action. Right? So when a team member isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing when they're supposed to be doing it, acts as if bad results are not their responsibility. Right. And if that ain't this world uh you know in a the tea then i don't know what is right especially in regards to these women where these women do whatever it is that they want but what what has esau allowed them to do esau has allowed them to basically not be held responsible for anything you know right these 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 women can just do whatever but once again these men do the same thing okay right but why it's because i was about to get as the rule of a city is such are all they that dwell therein Right, plays the blame game whenever stuff gets uh, doesn't get done. Right, uh, makes excuses for not finishing a task or hitting a goal. Doesn't live up to organisational expectations. Okay, right, and once again, it's a uh, very much akin to this precept here. Right, it says Sirach ten and two says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the rule of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Okay, so as 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 the head. So it's all everything underneath, okay. Which is why you see the you know the world that, which is why you see everyone behaving in the way they do, doing the things that they do, right? Because this this man's in rulership, okay, and he doesn't take accountability. I'm going to get a few examples of that as well, right? When you go all the way back to Genesis, right? Um, you know, because this man Esau, right? He's he, he's basically you know in that same spirit as Cain, okay. It says um, Genesis 4 and 3, it says, And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Yahweh. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of, of, of his flock, right, and the fat thereof. Right, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Right? So yeah, it's showing that you know the, the, the law was known at the time. Right? It says, and the Lord Yahweh said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? It, and this is it, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lieth at the door, and unto, and, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Right? Which makes me think of this rule. It says, Galatians 6 and 7, Be not deceived, the most side is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right? So going back here, this devil, right, this, you know, Cain, he basically did the wrong thing, right? And then once he's done the wrong thing, he got, you know, he, he, he never got, you know, rewarded because he did the wrong thing. So what did he go and do, right? It says, and Cain talked with his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him, right? And that's, that's the spirit of this devil, man. That's what he does, right? He, you know, here it is. He'll be the one in the wrong. Right, and then when 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 push comes to shove, guess what he does? He then tries and blames someone else. Tries to, uh, you know, tries to basically, you know, once once again not not take accountability of his actions, right? 
This is uh, Genesis 27, 41, right? Once again, that same spirit, the same devil, right? It says, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob, right? And, and when you read this story, right, what happened? Uh, 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 you know, Esau, right, was a, was a, basically had no patience, right? You know, he gave up, you know, sold his birthright. But if you understand it, the spirit was never his to begin with, right? Because the prophecy said the elder shall serve the younger. So it was never really his in the first place. But that was just the way the Lord wanted this story to uh, to unfold. All right, so this little, little, little red bastard, right, if you will, right, sells his birthright. Right for a porcel of uh, you know for some food, man, which can't, which shows you the kind of uh, degenerate that we're dealing with, okay. Right, so 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 does birth, right? And then basically, instead of taking ownership and being like, damn, you know, hey, hey it was my it was my fault, right? Uh, it is what it is, right? What did he do? He cries about it. In fact, that's a bit further up. Um, Verse 38 says, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Right? <clears throat> and that's it, man. Esau does the wrong thing. Right? These devils do the wrong thing. And then when it comes time to judgment, what do they do? They pretend like they ain't done no wrong. Right? And it was one of the greatest wrongs that they've ever done. Right? They've, they've, you know, touched the apple of the Lord's eye. Right, they put the children of Israel into captivity, and then that, and then now when it's coming time uh, for the judgment, right? What do they want to do? They want to pretend, oh, no, that was in the past, right? That wasn't me, right? But let's get this. This is Ecclesiastes uh, three fifteen, right? It says, um, "That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, right? And the Most High requireth that which is past." Okay. And that's it, right? There, there, there are actions that where we read, we read it in Galatians six and seven. There are actions that have been performed, right? That this devil has done that he has to pay for, right? The Most High requires that which is past, regardless of whether it was, you know, however long, right? You touch the apple of the Lord's eye, and you think that the Most High isn't going to require, um, you know, judgment for that. This is Jeremiah forty nine and twelve. So for thus saith you, how behold they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, right? Because well, here it is, we're the Lord's chosen, right? You know, uh, the spirits had me quote a couple of times, the apple of his eye, right? But then the Lord, hey, the Lord brought us slow. Why did the Lord bring us slow? This is Mark 7 and 9. I'll bear the indignation of Yahweh because I've sinned against him, right? So we've sinned against Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, right? We've... Uh, you know, we've been, you know, we've been going off, Jake's still going off to this day, right? which is why the Lord is ultimately just going to get rid of a whole bunch of our people, right? You know, just get straight to the point, just be like, look, man, I, you know, I, I ain't dealing with you like that, right? Scripture says, all the sinners of my people shall die. Yeah, <clears throat> all the sinners of my people shall die. That's what the scripture says, right? It goes on to say, he will, um, uh, because I've sinned against against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, right? So, even this is going basically saying, look, man, yeah, yeah you, you know, we're in this position because you know we've we've, we've sinned against Yahweh Hashem Shai. but then guess what? The Lord's basically saying, look, man, hey, bro, in this instance, Mark saying, I'm a chill, but there's gonna come a time when the Lord is gonna, you know, execute judgment for me, and that's what we're waiting for, right? And that's what these Edomites don't want. These Edomites are trying to run away from their judgment, right? But this is it. The, their judgment has already been written, whether they like it or not. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness, right? So back in Jeremiah 49 and 12, right? So for thus saith Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup of a surely drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it, okay? So the Lord ain't uh, 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 forgotten. Right, the Lord's seen everything that this devil has done, and if if, if you wanna, uh, uh, you know, if you wanna get real, it's the Lord that made Esau do it. Right, we were given unto His hand. But what does the Scripture say? In fact, let's grab it. This is Zechariah uh, one fifteen. Says, "I am very displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped for the affliction." Right, so the Israelites were given into these, uh, you know, primarily these Edomites, but we were given into these heathens' hand. Right for punishment, right? But especially these Edomites, they went above and beyond, right? To to uh, 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 would you call it? 
to basically keep uh, you know Jake Lowe and to, to, to really get their vengeance upon Jake their anger because when you read Ezekiel the 35th chapter it says that this man has had a perpetual hatred right for the children of Israel right? and since when Zechariah I'm going to grab this this is Zechariah uh, 11 and 5 says who's possessed to slay them and hold themselves not guilty and they that sell them say blessed be Yahweh for I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not right um, and in fact whilst whilst to, to, to go into to go into that, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 8 11 because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil, right? So, because you know, the Lord quote unquote has just been watching, right? Not not been you know, straight jacking this, this man up, right? He thinks he's gotten away with it, right? But this is it, right? He hasn't gotten, gotten away with it, and in fact, in fact, we can also get this this is um, Nahum 1 and 10, right? Uh, not one in ten. Uh, two. The name two. So mark, yeah. So I can just grab it real quick. So like, yeah, it was Nahum one. Uh, it's Nahum one and three. It says, um, uh, uh, the Lord Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power, and will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahweh hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Right. So the Most High is just being patient. Right, the Most High's got judgment waiting for Esau, and Esau don't like that. Esau wants to get away scot free, right? But they, the, the Lord, uh, 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 is is gonna make Esau account accountable for his actions, despite the fact that this devil tries not to be. Right, the Lord is gonna, uh, you know, require it. Okay, you know, and we can't wait for that man, right? Because it, the, the the position that we're in, right, is is a crappy position, right? This is Ecclesiastes ten. And seven, right? It says, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And I grab that because, you know, here it is, you know, you wake up to this truth. And obviously, we understand, you know, why we're in the position that we're in. You wake up to this truth and, you know, just looking around at these Edomites, you're like, man, you're, you're all of the rulers of the earth, man. You know, these creepy ass devils, right? You know, the basest of men, as the scriptures say, right? But that's just there to show the power of the Lord. And you know what? The Lord is going to, just as he raised up Pharaoh to bring him down, the Lord has raised up this Edomite to bring him down, right? But guess what? You're going to have Hamites, you know, in the, in the kingdom of these Edomites, right? As I mentioned, because I was speaking about Pharaoh, but, you know, in, in the context of these Edomites, man, you're going, uh, 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 you know, uh, there's going to come a day in the kingdom where you ain't going to see uh, no Edomites anymore. Right? And we can't wait for that, Okay. You can't wait for that because this man, his man has brought nothing but death and destruction into this world. Right? And then he wants to say that he ain't doing anything wrong. Right? But he's the criminal of the earth, man. We can't wait for the Lord to judge him so. So like I said, just a quick one. Um, you know, because this one, you know, get, get all of the revenge precepts and, you know, this and the other. You, know, you can get all of those, right? At, at Revelation 13, 9 and 10, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. Okay? You can get, you know, uh, th those and more. Right on, uh, you know, all of the revenge that is that is basically waiting for Esau, all of the judgment that is waiting for Esau, right? That how the Lord is going to make him accountable for all of the things that he's done to the children of Israel, right? So as always, Lord's without edifying, just a quick hit. Until next time, we say Shalom.